welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I'm here to give you an hour of what I like to call entertainment. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> oh, key dokey. We are going to get started in a second taking callers and answering questions on um, in the YouTube chat. Um lot to cover today. First and foremost, if you are, have a called in, um, when I say your area code, please uh, just give your name and your where you're calling from and then have a question and or a um, connection available. My brain is on slow motion today. Then I hear that song, slow motion with it. Slow motion with it. Ooh, I like it like that. Yo, working that back slow. Okay, we're going to pull that right back in. Okay. Um, uh, I will never reach out to you on any social media venue. Please do not be um, scammed by anybody pretending to be me. Um, and also, what else? What else, guys? What else do I normally say at the beginning of the show? I. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get started. There's so much going on in the chat right now. I want to say hi to Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. I can't wait till Genevieve's on the show. And Heather, um, Katie, thank you guys for being in the chat with me. Uh, Mimi, hey, Mimi, Rebecca, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Amy Hugh is here. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call-in number is 845-277-9131, um, or you can join us live on YouTube. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central and take your questions, help you connect with loved ones, um, all of it, everything, everything, everything. Um, so yes. Okay. We are going to, I, first, uh, the song today for Heather was, it's the song. I can't believe it came out and I know it makes sense to have her, he Heather. It was, um, leave me alone, let me go home, let me go home and get sober or start over. It's one of those. I don't really know. But anyway, then Heather responded, it made sense for a situation. And this is what I'm going to say. Sometimes as women or and men, we think we can fix someone, whether it be a partner, a child, a family member, we think we can fix them. And maybe, and I know this is going to be really hard to hear, maybe they're not supposed to be fixed. Maybe this is who they're supposed to be in this life, or they're supposed to be this person until they get ready to be fixed. I have friends or and people with men uh, or women, partners, let's just say partners. And um, these partners are maybe not where they want them to be. Maybe there's something going on with them. And I'm trying to say things in a very nice way where I should just be saying it straight out. But maybe these partners have a personality disorder, they're lying, cheating, whatever it is. And because the woman or the, yeah, let's just say, woman to man, just to make it easy for this conversation. But there's a lot of men to women in this situation too. The woman is trying to fix the man. If I just love him enough, if I just do this, if I just show him, um, if I just take care of him, if I give him this, if I do this. And here's my question. Do you think you're the first person to try to do that? All the way back to his mama. OK, you're not And every person before you probably tried to do the same thing um, and 
fix this person and love this person and show them so much. And then there they are, so many months, years invested. And all it brought you was frustration and a feeling of failing. And this person didn't change not one bit. People don't change until they want to or until they have to. And it's really, it, it is to us very unfortunate when we look at them and we think, oh my gosh, this person is this, this, and that, and they just need help, but they don't want help. It's like somebody telling you to become a mechanical engineer and you don't want to become a mechanical engineer. It's never going to happen. There's nothing that can make that happen, okay? So don't feel like you have failed or you have done something wrong or whatever it is. Let all of that go and just try to take your next step and move forward into a place where you can meet somebody who's already there. Okay. Meet somebody who's already at that point. Okay. All righty. I am going to say... Everybody on the chat is talking. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go to the call log. Um, I forgot to set up the call log until right before the show. So there's not a lot of callers today, folks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought, like, I usually go on and I set up the whole month worth of shows. And um, I apparently I had somehow skipped today. So I did it right before the show. So if you'd like to call in today, you're going to get through 845-277-9131 is the call in number. Let's chat. I'm going to go to 203. 203. What's your name and where are you calling from? Or maybe, maybe let's not chat. Okay, I'm going to go to 262. <laughs> 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi there. Hi, it's Amy. Hey, Amy, what's going on? Uh, I just remembered your show was on and I dialed in. So Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I have, a, <laughs> I have a question. I feel like, uh, again, stress stress at work but um i'm just wondering if the stress at work is like are they gathering data to fire me or am i just no. a little paranoid no i don't think they're do no they're not doing that i get it instantly i get a no but i do get that you are um it's not paranoid i think it's okay, today's it's off. Well, I think well, I think in today's world nobody feels secure in their workplace 9 times out of 10. Okay. But um yeah. I do feel like and I do feel like so don't think of it as being paranoid. I do feel like your workplace isn't always the most cohesive space. It isn't a space nope. where people feel good and safe and and have that camaraderie. What I will say to you, however, is, you know, go in, do your job and keep your, keep your nose clean, you know, whatever, however they would say that. Um, and allow yourself to, to be in that position that you're in and, and um, just knowing everything's going to be okay. And it's going to work out. Okay. Okay. I, I kind of, I stood up for myself and I feel like my boss acted like she was all offended, you know, sort of like the narcissist response to you setting a boundary and saying, I won't be talked to that way. Yeah. Um, I didn't exactly say that, but I just said, well, what do you mean by that? Because, you know, what I'm hearing is this. Well, I never said that. Okay. You know, and I said, well, you don't have to say it when your tone says it. Yeah. And I think it's fair in any conversation to ask, what do you, how, how do you mean that? Like, I know a lot of people say, what do you mean by this? And I always say, you can always change one word and change it from like an attack to a conversation. So when you say, what do you mean by that? Sometimes people will get defensive. But if you say, how do you mean that? 
How did you mean that comment? Okay. It kind of changes the dynamic and okay. the tone of it. Now, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I think it's fair before a person sure. makes an assumption to ask, hey, well, I want to make sure we're on the same page. What did you mean by that? Okay. Um, and to clear it all up, that's fair. Now, if a person gets defensive and because your understanding was different than theirs, it's a really good thing it got cleared up. And that is beautiful. And just say to, to your boss, just say, hey, thank you for clearing that up for me. I'm really happy that you did. Even if you're not, even if you're not, just let them know. Right. Hey, thank you for taking I that time. I of that. Thank you for confirming. Yeah. Because I actually was thinking of that. I was like, I never understood why you call me and act like it's so terrible. Like the sky is falling. I had no idea until she shared with me because she felt that it was clearly written in the manual, you know, like okay. that was her position. I'm like, wow, that was enlightening. Yeah. And I just thought she was nuts. Listen. <laughs> 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 okay. She may be not. And and yeah. who isn't, right? In today's world, who isn't? Um I'm going right. to tell you there is communication is a very very challenging thing. So you can ask somebody a question and they can get very defensive about it and think you're accusing them of something when really you're just asking like a matter of fact question but they think they're being set up mm -hmm. or they're being accused or whatever so it's always good in communication and conversations especially with work conversations to clarify in a gentle way to get clarification in a gentle way yeah. of what's going on okay love thank you so much you are so welcome you have an absolutely amazing day and thank you so much for calling in. You too. Excellent. Thank you, Amy. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, I'd love to have you call in. I am going to uh, say, yeah. Hey, hey, Elizabeth, welcome to the show. Um, so Elizabeth wants to know, can I help connect her to a family friend? She called Aunt Debbie. Yeah, I can. Um, and Elizabeth, actually more than one person is coming in for you and, or this is Aunt Debbie um, I'm seeing a woman with short, dark hair that was pretty um, healthy, um, pretty healthy, uh, a fuller, a much fuller woman is the first person I'm seeing. Now, that could be Aunt Debbie. That could be somebody else on the other side. I'm not sure. But I know Aunt Debbie is here also. Who you called Aunt Debbie is here also. And the first thing that she wants to say is um, she misses you. She misses um the 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 time the time and that's you know what that is the first time I've heard somebody from the other side say they miss you because they get to be with us all the time but you know we, we don't have those conversations those sit downs and stuff so I think that's what she's missing she wants you to know that she is going to be um okay she's going to be I'm, I'm trying to understand exactly what she's saying, but she's going to be something about a graduation and taking and talking. So these are the three words that I'm getting. Um, please let me know, um, Elizabeth, if these make sense to you, but something about a graduation, taking and talking. Um, I'm not getting a lot more from her than that. And please let me know if you, if Debbie was a little bit of a fuller woman or if there are two women here for you, okay? Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I know that that probably, that that's not as much of a message as you get if you call in, 
but that is what I'm getting for you. Um, I'm going to go to 561 and then Emily, I'm going to answer your question. And if you asked a question earlier on, or no, Aaron is next. I'm going to go to Aaron, Aaron's question next, but I'm going to go to 561 first. 561, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Stacy. It's raining out in Florida. Um, so uh, my my question is, um, um, you know, where I work um, in the next building, um, a guy had asked me out and gave me his number, and I just want to know um, if I should because he's not in my building or anything. Doesn't work with me, but. Um, um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Like, it's more, like, it's like uh, eclipses and retrogrades. His name begins with an R. I was wondering what you see about this. Okay, so I think uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm going to give you the, the 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 little bit of talk before I give you the answer. The, well, the answer is, yeah, go out, but make it very casual at first. Say, yeah, you know what? I'd love to meet you for a cup of coffee. Just to see how he is during that cup of coffee and see, get a vibe outside of work. Because I'm going to tell you something, professional being at work, people have one personality. Being out of work, people have a completely different personality. It's the work person. Oh, and, no, he doesn't work with me. Oh, he, he no, he doesn't work with he me. Works he in the works next in building. a different building in a different right. company. Okay, but here's what I'm saying. I will, I'm going to try to explain this in a different way then. Even if you don't work at the same company, when you meet somebody and it's, and maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying, and I apologize if I am. Start slow. Here's what I'm going to say. Start slow. Go for a cup of coffee. Get to know the person and their vibe, who they are. Take this a little bit slower so that you can gauge it. But I do feel like you should go out with him, okay? Um, but And they're saying for some reason... Start with a cup of coffee and then let him take you to dinner or then let him take you on the other date that he would take you out on. But start with a cup of coffee, okay, is is what I'm getting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's like the timing now. I mean, I don't want to look like an idiot calling him in a month, but it's because it's like retrogrades coming up. And every time a retrograde comes up, I get... You know, everything doesn't work out. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Some some planet is always retrograde. Some planet is always conjunct. Mm -hmm. So don't let that affect it. And it depends on, we're also going into an eclipse and we're also going into this and we're, and it depends on where this retrograde hits and this and stop. Just don't let that do it and don't use that as an excuse not to move forward instead just go like it's any other day um retrograde my understanding and i'm i don't like to buy into these things because i i mean it happens every whatever for six weeks how do you stop your life for that long you just you can't especially if you're in in a where you do contracts and sales and uh, you're in a, you just can't but retrograde it can affect electronics it can affect conversations or communication it can bring people from the past back like they'll be more reminiscent about you and maybe reach out but there's don't buy into oh my gosh it's a retrograde i can't I can't do this. What if you miss the best opportunity? Of, I'm not saying it is, but what if? And it, I truly believe if something's meant to work out, it's going to work out regardless of the timing. So don't let that astrological thing um, stop you. Because what are you going to do for the next four weeks? 
or six weeks or however long this lasts, what are you going to do? I mean, you're just going to sit and no matter who you meet, you're going to just not do anything, not sign any contracts, not, no, we have to live. We just have to live our life regardless of, we have to get out there. I always say, there's one person who told me about retrograde and I wish I never would had known about it. I wish she would have never told me. And she told me about this other stupid thing called moon void of course, where anything you do during that, that second or that minute will never happen. But that, that moon void of course happens like five times a day. Like what am how do you even live like that? You don't, you just let it go and you live, you just live. I mean, I know that that sounds, a lot of people live and die by astrological stuff. I'm just saying, go have a cup of coffee. If it's meant to be, it's going to work out. Um, and not every retrograde has the same effects. Plus, we're going into an eclipse, which is supposed to be one of the best eclipses. It's like cleaning up all the eclipses of last year. So go do it. Just have a cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, because you know, I I haven't dated in a long, long time. <laughs> okay, and I think that's actually the thing. I think that's actually the thing. I think it's because you haven't gone out on a date in a long time. You're looking for a justifiable reason to not go out on a date. So just make it casual and don't look at it as a big, heavy date. Um, that's why they're saying coffee. Um, look at it. I'm going to have a conversation to find out a little bit more about this person. And I always say to women, you're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you. It's, it's not up to them. It's, it's not a, a is he going to pick me at the end of this? It's a, how do I feel about him? Where do I think this can go? Was the conversation flowy? Was it a good conversation? What kind of feeling did I get from this person? Just go get coffee. It's just coffee. Just go get coffee. Okay, love? Okay, thank you so much for, for that. You are so welcome. I hope it was helpful. And I do want to, I, I want to, I want you to call in and give a little update on it. Okay, sweetie? All right. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you so much. You are I so, appreciate it. Absolutely my pleasure. It's absolutely my pleasure. Okay, I'm going to um, say so if you'd like to call in, if you have a question you would like to call in, please call 845-277-9131. Um, I'm going to take a question from the chat. I had one here, Erin. Hi, Tony. What niche should I focus on for starting an online business? Um, the one that feels the best to you is the answer I'm hearing. The one that you feel the most passionate about. If you have choices you'd like me to look at, please put them in. But that's what I'm hearing. I know it sounds vague, but there's that. Uh, if, you, if you do call in and you have a question, please remember to hit the one button so that I can know that you have a question. Um, Emily, will I be able to afford a mansion in the future? <laughs> um, okay, here's a funny thing that that, that the reason I giggled is because as soon as I read the word mansion I heard in the sky but no that was not it and I'm sorry I giggled at that I'm not giggling at your question you know I was watching this thing this weekend and there's this woman who literally bought a castle in Portugal with her daughter and she said it's less than her rent here in the U.S. to own a castle in Portugal so, Emily, my answer to you, you might not like, but the true answer I'm going to give you is it depends on where you want to buy it. You want to buy it in Florida. It's this. You want to buy it in Idaho. It's this. Um, and why do you want a mansion? That's spirit, not me. I know why you want a mansion. 
but that's spirit. Um, make sure whatever you're getting, you're getting because it's in your heart, if that makes sense. I, I don't know. Okay. I hope that's helpful. I don't feel like it was the answer that you wanted, but I feel like it's the answer that you needed. Okay. I, but I do feel like if you want a mansion, I personally, me, I feel like if you want a mansion, go for it, go get it. Um, and again, where you can probably afford a mansion right now, depending on where you're looking for that mansion, Myrtle beach, maybe not, but you know, um, Portugal, probably. I'm not saying move to Portugal. That's not at all what I'm saying. Okay, if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131-623. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Rebecca from Arizona. Hey, Rebecca. How can I help you? Yes, I just have a question. I know you talk to pets. So I'll have a question regarding one of my dogs, my son's dog. His name is Rocco. And it seems like he's afraid of, of people. And I want to know what can I do to help him heal from that? Like, help him cope. Don't know what happened to him when he was a puppy or something. Is he, um, I'm getting, what size is this dog? Is it a small dog? What, or size? Small breed? what size? No, it's a big one. It's, it's a okay. Portuguese, water dog, Portuguese. Okay. I'm also seeing a small dog. I don't know why I'm seeing a small dog, but I'm yeah. seeing a little dog. I have a lot of dogs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have a little one. Honey. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Um, that little one is the like such a dominant little dog. It like, it cut, it's, it's in the, it's like, as soon as I tapped into dogs, it like stepped right in. It's like, I'm here. What? Yes. Okay. Let's talk. Um, I'm going to tell you this dog is afraid. You know what? Let's just, let's just do a clearing on the dog. Let's, uh, this dog is afraid of people. I get a no. This dog is afraid of what people will do. Okay. Let's clear that. Um, the dog is, is empath. Okay. The dog is also very empathic. Okay. So the dog oh, okay. picks up on other people's fears. So like if this is, I know this is going to sound bizarre, but if, if as people approach this dog, they have fear or whatever, and this dog can see also what's around people and um, oh, okay. has some, so there's a lot. So let's just clear all of that. And this dog lost its um, voice or power. So let's heal that and let's heal all of this and clear it. And then the, the other thing that I'm getting is that this, this baby, it's still like a puppy. It's still like in its, like, you know how you, you, you have a puppy and it's like so timid. Puppies can be so timid sometimes. Um, yeah. So let's bring this, this dog back into its um, voice is what I'm hearing. I was thought I was going to say power, but back into its voice. Okay. And I feel, I feel it just pulling off of like the scruff of this dog, like the whole back of the neck. It's coming off of that area, like where the mom would pick up or so. No, people should not pick up dogs by the back of their neck, but um, the scruff, that area okay. of the dog. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here until Wednesday. Have a great rest of the day.